Hey Stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper from Chatham, Ontario, Canada. Welcome. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. It is sunny and hot here in Chatham, Kent. And so guess where this squirrel is? Nicely and happily inside the air conditioning. I tell you, I am so happy for air conditioning. I have a fan going as well, so cool air is on me and I am in my happy place. Um, mind you, it was lovely to be outside this morning. I worked in the garden. I played with my grandkids. It was really, really nice. Now, we are going to use this wonderful stamp set called Cute Fruit. And you're probably thinking, where on earth did you find that stamp set from? I don't have it. I haven't seen it anywhere. Hello, Linda. Hello, Patty. And you know what? You are right. You could go crazy looking in the annual catalog for this stamp set because it's not in there. So why does Stampin' Up! have a stamp set that isn't in the annual catalog? Because we don't have a mini catalog right now. Well, let me tell you. We have this amazing brochure called Make Beautiful Things Will Show You How. And it is meant for new stampers, people who don't have anything. So let's open it up and... We've got, um, so it tells you the difference between cling stamps, which are made of red rubber and a layer of foam for detailed images and photopolymer. And you can see exactly where you're stamping. Um, and then we have this, it's called captivating coordination because everything coordinates. So this is a beautiful set that goes with the, um, oh goodness, what's it called? It goes with, I can't even think. It goes with that jar, the jar of flowers, I think it's called. And so then this one is called Four Season Floral because it has everything to do with the Four Seasons, poinsettias and roses, and I, I'm not even going to get get started because I'm going to get wrong on this. But anyway, we're not talking about this today. This is what we're talking about. Here it is, cute fruit. And the neat thing is, take a look at this. I want to share a little trick with you that I am sure you know by now. Um, and that is, if you are in a creative funk, the first thing you should do is just copy some of the things that are in the catalog. After you've done that, you've got a feel for the stamp set and you'll kind of get going. And so you can get this whole bundle, the stamp set, a clear block D, which I think, let me have a look, that's this one. So it's a big enough that does all of them, okay? You get a pack of Whisper White cardstock and then you get eight stamp pads. So they have eight little ink pads, which is perfect. Basic Grey, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Real Red, and Shaded Spruce. So for $79.75, you've got a great starter kit, okay? So I'm going to show you. And, okay, one thing. I wanted to make these cute little tags, right? But we do not have a tag topper punch that does those angles. So I thought, okay, how am I going to know how wide this is? So... I took that saying, I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend, and it just fits on this tiny little block. And I stamped it on a piece, on a scrap of paper, okay? So this is my scrap. And I just cut it a little bit wider. So that's two and five eighths by four and a quarter. So, but this is what it looks like, right? We have to figure this out. So how did I do that without a tool? So you lay it on your grid paper, and then you simply count the squares. So. I've got one, two, three, four, five on this side, but only four on this side, so that's going to be a problem. So we're going to slide it over, and now we have just over one, two, three, four, all, just over five on either side. So now I'm going to slide it up, and we're going to go to this there on the same side, so that's three over, so a little mark. And then we're going to go down to the second one. So I'll put a little pencil mark there, and a little pencil mark there. See, so it's not... I didn't have to do any figuring except lining it up in the middle, okay? So now we're going to take the paper trimmer and we're going to line up those little pencil marks in the trough, okay? There we go. And it might not be perfect because I made my pencil marks a little bit long, right? So it depends on... It's going to be good enough. People, see? So there we go. Then we'll turn it around. And we're going to get started. I, I don't know why I'm starting with the most difficult one first. I probably shouldn't do that, but oh well. Basic gray. I didn't get all the little, little ink spots, so I'm using my big ink pads. So here we go. Right at the bottom. I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend. There we go. And now we're going to do something really cool. This is the little circle stamp. 
that can go, well, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to, less talking, more stamping. We're going to start with Granny Apple Green, and I am sitting down, so I can't see your comments, okay? Um, but do tell me where you're from, and then, and share, so that I can give a prize, okay? All right. So we're starting with Granny Apple Green, and I'm keeping my, my tag on the grid paper so I can kind of, I'm going to go full strength here, and then off, okay? And then full strength right beside, and then stamping off. See, and I'm making a pattern. And it might not be perfect, but it's really fun. And if you don't like this idea, then don't do this one. But now here, you see how my circle is half on? I don't, if I stamp again here, I'm going to have a line. See, look, I'm going to have a line. I don't want that line. So I'm stamping full and stamping off and then like so. And now we're going to clean it. Where's my cleaner? Oh, yes. I actually have something where I needed it. Isn't that great? Now we're going to switch to Coastal Cabana. Isn't this fun? Yeah, I think so. Um, full strength and then off and see how we're making a pattern I love the colors and I didn't even have to think about it and that was a little bit crooked but that's okay see I, I made a mistake I should have see I was off and I went it doesn't matter, it's not the end of the world, but you can understand that when you get to the end, it's important if you're gonna have a line. Now, the next color, I'm closing this up, is Gorgeous Grape. I should have closed these up right away. Playing with color is just a lot of fun. Okay, so now we've got Gorgeous Grape, and off. I haven't used this one very much. You can see how beautifully dark and vibrant it is. And I think I went a bit too low there. Oh goodness, we had a bit of a hiccup. Now I'm stamping off, stamping off, and there we go. That one's my, that row isn't perfect. And actually the tag in, in, in the catalog is shorter, so I'm going to go with another color, but I don't know what color to do. Um, you know what? Maybe yellow. Yellow or red? Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave it for now. And yeah, I'll think about whether or not I'm going to add anything else. Now, the other thing that you want in your arsenal is note cards and envelopes. Every stamper should have note cards and envelopes on hand at all times. And the reason for that is that they're just so stinking easy. So if you need a quick card, they are three and a half by five, okay? So we're gonna start with the sentiment and we're going to use Coastal Cabana this time. And I could do something else, but I'm just copying the card. So here we go again, couldn't ask for a sweeter friend there and then we're going to do the big watermelon now there's a trick to this okay so this is going to be the watermelon see this piece okay let's take it out and oh yellow you think yellow ruby i'll give it i'll give it a try with yellow later on remember do not throw this skinny piece of plastic away put it in the case because you need it to cover up your stamps so we're going to start with this guy but you see how it's all flimsy we're going to lay it down, lay it on your grid paper, pick it up with your stamp, because otherwise it won't be the right shape. So this is going to be shaded spruce. I have to close up some ink pads. They're all open. This is not cool. I know. All you really want to do is stamp. You don't want to be tick. Oh, this one is, this one is so new. It's, it's locked in place. Okay, I'm going to leave that. That was my gorgeous grape. It needs a little greasing. I don't know if you can actually do that, but I think you can put some glycerin in in uh, the track, so to speak. Okay, so shaded spruce, and we're going to put it at a slight angle, and hopefully we'll see if I did a good job or not. So this is going to go on an angle like so, and then give it a one, two, three, four, five second rest so that the ink can spread, and then we're going to take this piece. I'll just lay it on there and pick it up. 
Now it's got a big flat surface, so you want to make sure that you ink it up well, okay? So tap, 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 and then kind of look at it and do it again. I should have maybe stamped it in Versamark first because this is its first stamp. And go a little bit lower than what you think. And then you see how the ink spread? Look at that. Isn't that cute? We actually have another one. This time, I'm going to close my card. We're going to do one across at the top. There. And the green. And then we're going to fill it in with the, the pineapple and a grapefruit. And... There we go. Isn't that just so cheerful? I thought so. Now I'm going to clean these and then we can use the block for something else. Yes. This is the kind of set that because there's a lot of pieces in it, you would want, if you're doing this as a class, then you would want people to bring their own bundle with so that everybody could work at the same pace. It's just a lot of fun. You know, after this COVID is over, I'm guessing that a lot of people are really excited about coming together to stamp. So here, here's going to be the pineapple. So that's Daffodil Delight. And then we'll do another one on this corner here. Isn't that cute? And then we'll put the topper here. And the, the topper is going to go in Granny Apple Green. So just really nice and fresh um, colors. This would go great for a um, summer party if that ever happens. And here we go. Isn't that pretty? It's just, this is instant gratification, these stamps, I think. Okay, now we've got a cute little banana. So you notice that I'm going from my bigger images to my smaller images. I'm doing that on purpose because this is actually collage stamping. So I'm going to move this little guy. Here's my stamp, my block. Man, can you believe that I've lost? Oh, no, there they are. I lost my stamps. Okay, so here's the banana. And, of course, the banana is going to go in Daffodil Delight. And I've got blocks everywhere. They're in the way. And there's a banana. I'm not sure if there's a... Oh, that wasn't very good. So see how I didn't get that spot? Because it's full of polymer, you just kind of go over and see it. I don't know if I did that right. But that's not bad. Bananas sometimes have spots. Not bad. I wasn't looking what I was doing. That was the problem. And where else are we going to... We're going to put a banana right in here. Hi, Debbie, Central Illinois. What's the weather like there? Okay, now let me take a look at the stamp set. Oh, yeah, there's that little piece. That's the end of the banana. Okay. Well, we want to do that in brown, but you know what? They didn't do brown because there's no brown in the set. But we want brown, don't we? We don't want to really... Well, you know what? I'm going to use gray because gray comes in it. We're going to do gray. They probably didn't want a banana that was looking bad. Now I'm going to have to look at bananas because I can't remember if the banana tip is gray or green. Oh, well, it, it's whatever. Here, watch. We're going to compromise. I'm going to go yellow over top. Ha! Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't get so excited over such little things. All right, we're going to do a grapefruit next, and that's actually a two-step stamp. So we have this little guy that's going to go in Flirty Flamingo. And then there's a Daffodil Delight circle going around it. So here we go. We'll do a couple of those right away. And one off the side. So when you do collage stamping, make sure that some of your images go off to the side. So we'll move this off and then we'll put the circle on. Let's see, okay. There's a small circle and a big circle. There we go and yellow. Well, that's not perfect, but it will do. It's because I'm working on an angle. That's my excuse. Well, that one's much better. Isn't that pretty? There, well, that wasn't good at all. I'm gonna go in again. There, that's kind of fun. So now we have a little kiwi. That's what I'm gonna call it anyway. If 
I can find it. Here it is. We'll clean it off. Sunny in Washington State, the Skagit. Is it Skagit or Skagit Valley, Deb? That sounds like it could possibly be wine country. If it is, I would like to know. I know that the wines from that area of the world are lovely. The Okanagan Valley in BC has a really nice wines. There's a whole story behind how I know that because we can't buy Okanagan um, wines in Ontario. But when we went on the Alaskan cruise, I got clever because when you go on a cruise, you can only take in two bottles of wine per cabin. So I knew that there were Stampin' Up! demonstrators who prefer soda to wine. So I asked all demonstrators who were not drinking wine to bring me wine. Isn't that nice? It just pops off the page, doesn't it? It's so cute. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, Ruby's idea and do this in yellow at the top. The yellow and the purple probably will look really nice. So let's see it. Coming back with what I've called my kiwi. Here and here. So we're just kind of... I'm guessing that the more I do this, the better I'll get at it. It's like anything else. Um, I thought about doing this with the Stamparatus, but that would take way too much time. Not happening. Isn't that cute? Oh, see, I forgot again too. See the line I was supposed to stamp off here. But it's still really cute, isn't it? Yeah. So one more card. Okay, we're going to do, well, maybe we'll do another tag too, but first a card. So we're taking another note card and envelope. And oh, I just threw an envelope into my ink pad. Okay, doing it like this. And then remember, if you don't have a bone folder, just use your block. There, nice and straight. And now we're going to take the watermelon, except it's not a watermelon. The watermelon is now turning into an apple. Okay, we'll clean this off. And we're going with um, Granny Apple Green appropriately. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, they are definitely happy colors. So we're starting at the bottom and we're going off a little bit, okay? Like that. And then we're taking, oh goodness, what did I do with it? Oh, we have a squirrel moment, people. We have a squirrel moment. I have lost the inside of the apple. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. Okay. Speaking of, of critters, I have a rabbit. I don't know if you guys have heard this. When I first saw this rabbit, I was um, innocent. And I was happy that I had a rabbit in my yard. I thought, oh, look at that. Look at that cute bunny. Well, the stinker has been eating my plants. And I'm talking decimating them. Look at that. There's maybe a, there was a little bit of red left on there. Anyway, this rabbit is eating all my like mini hostas. He eats them to the ground. I got a bush where my mom chewed to the ground. Today, I noticed that I had a perennial. And I forget what it's called. It's got purplish leaves. And... Oh, it's such a nice, and it's been around for a while. It, three of the leaves were just laying on the ground. I'm thinking, you stinker. Anyway, I have a little BB gun. I might find it. Okay, so we're going to keep going with these cute little apples. And, let's see, so I'm stamping off. Did I say that? I'm so worried about my rabbit. I no longer think this rabbit is cute. He can go and be cute somewhere else. I now understand people who have problems with deer in their yard. Like, we think deer are so cute, and they are. But not when they're eating everything in your yard. Then they're not so cute anymore. And, oh, I kind of like it. See how that does? It has a little bit of white? That actually looks good. And this one's going to go right at the top. So, stamped in granny apple green, stamp off. And here we go. See, so now we've got a whole row of apples and the saying that is gonna go with it is perfect. Let's just wait till you see it. And we're going to stamp the saying in the gray. Gray, basic gray, okay? So tap, tap, tap. And hopefully I left enough room, I did. Just, well, it's a little, it's a little off, but it's okay. Wishing you a slice of happiness. Isn't that cute? So you can see that these cards take about five minutes to make, max. Okay. Um, I could go crazy and make the banana one too, but I don't think so. We'll do one more tag. 
just so that you can see again how I did it. And this, this my grid paper is crazy. You can see what we've been doing. There's the whale and the and the jellyfish. I'm going to and. There's my blog, thepamperedstamper.com, so make sure you check me out. I, my blog, I'm on a blog hop today, and it goes live at 4 p.m., so check it out. I've got another amazing peony card, so check that out. And then I really have to get my act together for the In Color Club and the Blends Club. But the training group is going strong. So if you're a demo any in the world, anywhere in the world, and you want to join a great group, that's it. It's only five bucks a month. All right, what was I going to do? I have my piece of cardstock. It's four. No, that's the wrong one. Oh, 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 oh. I think. No, it's not. It's right. Okay. So our trick was, now we have different sized grids here. This is the grid paper has small ones and big ones. So now we have to get the pencil and we have to count again. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six in a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six in a bit. Wow. I did it right. Okay. I'm sliding it over and up. So I'm going to go one, two, three down, one, two, three down, and two in a little bit. So there's like, I'm just making up, like there's no rules. I'm just eyeballing it, okay? So I'm gonna cut out those two corners. And I'm guessing that you can do this with a square punch, but I tell you whenever I line up a square punch, I don't do it right. So this is easier for me, the little pencil marks and I mean, it would be great if they had a punch, and maybe they do when I haven't figured it out. But for those of you who don't, there we go. All right, so now we are going to take what I used as the grapefruit, and this is going to be really cute. I think my thing might be too wide. I don't know. Let's find out. Like I said, when I do these videos, I really am playing with you. Um... Like, we're just having fun together. So, Granny Apple Green. Actually, you know what? No. The saying first. All right. I got ahead of myself. Now I've lost the stamp set again. Well, here's the stamp set. I'm feeling for it. Oh, here. It's underneath the stamp. Okay. Good. There is one more saying. Oh, no. Yeah. No, it's a tiny little word. I didn't see. I didn't realize this. It's not a saying at all. I have to stamp several times. Are you curious? Okay, so we're going to stamp it in Coastal Cabana. And you can't see what it says. I know that. And then I'm going to try to line it up and we'll go up a little higher. All right, everybody's quiet. There, we're gonna go one, two, Three. Smile, 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 people. Life is good. And now we're going to, I have to double check to make sure there's no other stamp in there. There is not. Okay. Now we're going to go Daffodil Delight underneath in the middle. And then we're going to clean it off and we're going to do Granny Apple Green stamped off. So light here. Whoops. Oh, I went in the wrong color. See, do you guys do that too? At least I saw it. Um, stamp off, and there we go. And now we're going to reverse it, and we're going to do the yellow. And it's stamped off. I, I did, forgot to do that here. And stamped off here. And then another granny apple green in the middle, stamped off. Okay, and then we're taking the circle and we're doing it around, tone on tone. Oh goodness, I can't see a thing. Okay, well, when you can't see, you line up that circle, the hole in, well, no, that didn't work so well. All right, you know what? In retrospect, we're going to flip it. We're gonna, oh, girl, wah. Yeah, no, no, no. We're starting again. You know, that's part of playing. We're going to go back up. And I have learned something important. We're going to do the smile, smile, smile. I'm still smiling in the middle. Either way. And now we are going to do the big circle first. See? 
I'm not there. And I should clean that, but I'm not. And then a yellow one. See, I wasn't. I didn't realize that these circles were so much bigger. And now, the yellow one goes down in the middle here. I'm not cleaning it off in between. I'm getting lazy. And things could get a little bit noisier here because Leo and Steph just came back. So, maybe Leo will make a guest appearance. Oh my God. Hi, Leo. I'm doing a live. Oh, Leo has Leo has treats. Oh, he's got a great big ice cream cone that almost... You are lucky. And you've got toys. Oh, he made out like a bandit. Um, oh, yeah, I have to stamp off. There. And this will be the last one, guys, because this probably went longer than I thought. And now we're going to do stamped off in Granny Apple Green. It works much better this way, doesn't it? It's easier to line it up, too. And look at that. Isn't that cute? And now, wait, it's going to get better. The, cute fact, the cuteness factor is about to explode. This is the cutest little thing ever. I just have to wait and see. Yeah, I've got you in suspense, I know. So now we're going to use the gray. And look at this. How cute is that? Now, tell me that you don't want this stamp set now. Yeah, okay. I'm thinking, do I have another stamp in here? There's one more stamp. And I'm just going to stamp it so you can see what it is, okay? And here. Look at that. You're one in a melon. We can do it on the back of something. Do I have something? Here. There. You can see it on white. That's better. Isn't that cute? So, yes, I think this is a fantastic set. I am just taking this out and I am flipping the kale. There we go, here I am. So I just wanted to say hello to you guys. I really hope that you check out my blog today. Um, and not only mine, I'm part of a blog hop and with other demonstrators from around the world. So I like doing blog hops. I mean, not participating in them. I, I actually don't like that very much because I'm a squirrel and then other people are counting on me and somehow I often like forget something. I do something wrong. I don't have the right wordage in the title or I don't have the right order of posting things or, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I feel a little bit vulnerable. Um, but what's nice about, I like going on blog hops. I like checking them out because it's really cool to just click the link and go to the next one and click the link and just see what everybody's done. It's just a great way, you know, pour yourself a nice glass of iced tea or wine or whatever you like to drink and hop on. I think it goes live at four Eastern Standard Time, so that's in less than an hour. And leave some comments because bloggers can have a lonely world. I know that you guys know how to leave comments because whenever I offer a prize of some sort, then you all come out of the woodwork. And um, that does make me happy. But um, yeah. And I have some people who comment faithfully all the time and bless your heart because it really does, um, it's really wonderful. It's really wonderful when you write a blog post and, pe and you know that people are actually reading what you write. So, um, but anyway, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that you share the video. I will be sending out a, uh, a one or two um, free tutorials again, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. I am loving seeing where you guys are all from, um, and I just love the interaction here. We are, we're building a wonderful community. Um, I have about 7,800 followers right now, and I have this crazy dream that I want to get to 10,000. I don't think that's crazy. I think it's possible, but you guys need to share my page to do it, okay? We'll have a big party when we get to 10,000 followers. So thanks for being a part of my dream. All right, have a super day. I'm going to have some ice cream with Leo. Bye.